uh, Unibuy, Radamco, Westfield, uh, they have more than 30 malls in the U.S. And we reported yesterday on CNBC.com that they've signed a deal with this startup known as The Void. Um, and essentially, they create these experiences where you pay $35, wow. you go and put on a pair of goggles and go into a room. And I've actually had the chance to experience it myself. And it's pretty awesome. But you, you feel like you're on the set of whatever movie is playing at the time. So when, th yeah. this is the key part, probably, is that they're basically saying we're going to play off the success of these big blockbuster movies. Sure. And from the movie's point of view, I'm sure they're saying, well, we'd love to get this content into the quote unquote real world. I mean, it could be a new distribution channel for them, right? Oh, totally. And you you feel like you're there. When I did this Star Wars experience, I'm like battling Darth Vader <laughs> with a blaster gun. And it's no, it, it, it I was very impressed because I think a lot of us when we hear virtual reality, there's still a little skepticism. I roll my it, right? eyes. I go, I've yeah. heard this VR thing time. OK, exactly. VR this, VR that. It never goes anywhere. But I have to say, I've been in the mall lately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and it, it has gotten a facelift. It is a different experience. And it is it does offer more. You know, if you're trying to get out of the heat, if you are with young kids, if you are just looking for a place you can kind of go spend a couple of hours, mm -hmm. I can understand how even for $35, you know, if the kids are into it, this offers people something to do. Absolutely. And as you mentioned with the store closures, I think the virtual reality is moving in where, you know, apparel retail is moving out. So I spoke to the uh, president of Unibuy in the U.S., uh, Jean Marie, and he told me that if you would have asked him five years ago, more than 50 percent of the deals that they were doing and signing new leases, it was related to clothing companies and fashion. Now that's about 35 wow. percent. So you can see that continues to shrink and will probably go even below 35. Give us just one last glimpse. I mean, as we look to what other kinds of experiences are coming, like sure. I mentioned, I, I wrote a motorized pay and a scooter around the mall the other yeah, day. No. That, that's They're coming not... up with everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, but no, what else? We're seeing, I mean, apartments, uh, hotels, co-working spaces, Macerich, uh, another mall owner did a deal with Industrious, and they're adding co-working spaces to malls. Uh, last week, the Mall of America, which is the biggest mall in the U.S., they announced they're going to bring a medical facility, an urgent care facility, into the mall, and they've never done anything like that before. So truly, that, you know, the traditional mall, that... Um, template that they yeah. used to follow, you know, that's, that's changing.